I want to make it easy for readers to find what they're looking for in this document. So when I finish my first draft, I will add a table of contents. I know it's not a good practice to manually type the table, so I'm going to let Word manage it for me automatically. Not only can Word create the table of contents, Word can update the table when I make changes to the document, like adding more pages. As I write, I keep in mind that the easiest way to create a table of contents is to use the built-in heading levels. So if I want text to show up in the table in the appropriate hierarchy, I format it with heading styles 1, 2, or 3. I can set up Word to include text formatted with any other style too, but the default settings will work for now. My first draft is done. Where information is missing, I've inserted a heading and placeholder text. Now, I'll send the draft to my team for review, and to help them navigate my document, I'll insert a table of contents. I press Control and Home to move the cursor to the top of the document. On the References tab, in the Table of Contents group, I click Table of Contents. Then I click Automatic Table 1. The table shows three heading levels and page numbers and contains hyperlinks. It also includes the headings of the placeholder sections. In addition to making the document easier to navigate, the table works as an outline, which will help the reviewers evaluate the content. Before I send it out, I want to do one last thing. I place the insertion point in front of the heading following the table of contents. On the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, I click Breaks, and then I click Page. This separates the table of contents and starts the body text on a new page. Here's my second draft. I've filled in a lot of the missing content. I also added a few sections, removed a few, and retyped some heading text. After all of these changes, the table of contents is now out of sync with the body text. However, because I let Word manage the table of contents, I can update it automatically. I click in the table of contents to select it. Then, on the References tab in the Table of Contents group, I click Update Table. Because there were changes to heading text throughout the document, I select Update Entire Table and click OK. And I get a new table that reflects the changes in my document. As you work, remember that Word replaces the text and page numbers in the Table of Contents when you click Update Table. So if you type directly in the Table of Contents and then update it, the text you typed will be gone. If I know I'm going to update my table of contents, I always type changes in the body of my document. The same goes if I insert or delete pages. I let Word update the page numbers in the table of contents, rather than change the page numbers manually. I update my table of contents one last time, and my document is ready to go. If you want to know more about how I create my own automatic table, see the next video.